Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day. Happy Thursday. We're closer to the weekend. We're getting there. But today's video is going to be about some, well, beauty guru drama that I saw this morning, UK time, online regarding Kim Tai. Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorials. Now, if you're looking for me to completely, you know, drag Kim Tai, it's not gonna happen. I really, really love Kim Tai. I really, really do. Um, obviously, if I thought she was doing something super shady, I would completely call her out on it. Girl, the shade, the shade of it all. <laughs> but, I really, really like her. I do, I think she comes across as really relatable, really warm, and do you know what? I actually like her vlogs and stuff like that way more than her like her makeup tutorials i don't know i think she's good don't get me wrong i think she's very very good but i like watching her vlogs her go about a day i like her mukbangs and stuff like that so if you don't know who kim tai is she does vlogs she does beauty videos she mainly started with beauty videos and she's done more mukbangs with her friend michelle who i also really like lately you can if that's like the only way you think you can eat it okay what kind of bite is that <laughs> Do you eat until you need the water? Mm -mm. I don't know. It's really good though. Is it? <laughs> and um, yeah, so it's regarding her relationship with well, Nikki Tutorials and Ofra Cosmetics. So let me just start you off on this. Um, Kim Tai had a collaboration with Ofra. I'm not too sure when it was, I believe must have been about nine months ago and they created something called wonder lush um it was a moisturizer i believe it was kim ty's first ever collab and you'll know since then obviously nikki tutorials has had a collab with ofra when they did the highlight sets i can't remember what they were because i was never going to get any of that shizzle i think they were like highlight sets with lipsticks i'm not too sure but they were super expensive but i'm not bothered by stuff like that anyway so, as I said, she had a collab with Ofra yonks and yonks and yonks ago now. Um, I don't really buy into all the, you know, YouTubers doing collabs. I mean, I'll buy a product if I think it looks good. I tell you, I did buy the Kali by Bell palette. And I would have bought as well, maybe the Nikki, not Nikki Tutorials, Nicole Guerrero highlight palette. But it's just too tricky to get in the UK and I don't want to spend a... Sh a crap ton of money when it looks to me some of the, the from what i've seen the actual formulas look quite similar to sleek who do like highlighters and i love their highlighters so anyway so i'm not just going to pay through the nose if it's you know made by somebody on youtube whether i love them or not if i think the product looks good i'd get it but i would never ever buy something just because a youtuber's brought it out if that makes sense it just doesn't interest me i just don't care but anyway um kim Tai went on a twitter rant last night and she really was shading over cosmetics let me just get into these twitters what twitter feed that was going on last night i'll get into all of that in a minute but one other thing i wanted to say is kim Tai has around about half a million subscribers and she is super duper good friends of nikki tutorial this is my best friend nikki and i love her dearly they're always together you always see them in each other's videos more in kim Tai's videos they're really really like best buds and i think that's really really cute i love you know that looks like they actually do have a genuine friendship there and I really, really like that. I'm, you know, I'm no way going to be shading Kim in this really. I'm just going to sort of put the facts out there and then you can make your own minds up. But let me just start. So, as I said, Kim went on a complete Twitter kind of rant regarding Ofra Cosmetics. And I was really, really shocked to see this. I really, really was because she's never, she's only ever, ever had really, you know, positive things to, you know, say about them. So, let me just, I'll put the um, Twitters on screen for you to see. Twitters? Twitters? Does that even make sense? But I'll put that all on the screen for you. But it started with this. Hi, friends. As you know, Kim always starts all her videos with, hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hi friends. Hi friends. Sorry if you can hear my cat. She's been really, really annoying. Hold on one second. So as I said before, I was rudely inter interrupted by my little Bengal cat. And if I'm talking a bit funny, I'm really, really sorry. I've got massive swelling in my mouth at the minute where my near my wisdom tooth. I don't know what's going on. Got a feeling I might have to go to the dentist tomorrow. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Um, it said started with hi friends because of personal matters between the brand and I talking about Ofra Cosmetics. Um, and lack of respect, I've decided to discontinue Wonderlush. Now, one thing I would say about that, 
I'm surprised she can actually make that kind of decision because surely there'll be some kind of contractual obligations involved that's just a general observation, like an obvious general observation. I could be wrong, but that is what I would think, but who knows? I don't think she could just suddenly pull something off of their website. I haven't had a look, to be honest with you, because I'm, not, I'm not, never gonna intend on buying it, but I'm very surprised if they could just, you know, remove it off of there. So, and then she just goes on to say, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart to all my subscribers who have shown their love and support for Wonderlush. Wonderlush was my first collaboration and it taught me more than I could ever imagine. Most importantly, it taught me true colours. The shade is about to start. So, I'm very surprised about this, that's one thing. She's not really like this old Kim, so I'm kind of surprised. So she says, all I have to say, she said she's, sorry. All I have to say is if you're going to talk trash, don't ask about someone, don't accidentally send it to them. True colours will always show. Oh my gosh, do you reckon they sent her a message or an email? What do you think happened? I wish the brand the best on their future endeavours and hope that they will practice kindness on and off the screen. Disappointed and extremely hurt. I hope I, I don't think I've said these tweets all in the right order, but whatevs, you're getting the, you know, you're getting the general gist of it all. But she's on the positive side. Thank you for buying Wonderlush and helping me raise money for the St. Jude's fund of every purchase, which is absolutely fantastic. But I tell you what, one thing that is a little bit funny, Nikki Tutorials, so my thinking bracelet is going to cut my top. Nikki Tutorials, who's her best bud, um, is actually releasing a, a, another collab with Ofra Cosmetics I think it's this week or today or something and people are saying um that well Sanders Kennedy I don't know if any of you watch Sanders are saying is she shading Nikki I don't think she's shading Nikki at all do you know what I think happened obviously I think obviously she's been sent something which shouldn't have gone to her what she's saying you know by accident they've obviously she's read something she didn't want to hear didn't want to see it's either she's either blowing it out of proportion you have to remember this is a young girl still this is still a young girl still got to learn you know things as she grows and i know she's an adult but sometimes people act on impulse you know and after they said things it's sometimes too late and they think oh my gosh i wish i hadn't said that but i can't do anything about it do i think she should have gone online and done and done this no, I don't think she should have done because if she wants to continue working with other brands that looks poorly on her and they may think, oh my gosh, um, you know, I don't want to work this girl because she's going to be trouble and she's going to be trouble with a capital T. Um, and But then again, she has every right if she's hurt to be honest and talk about it. That's her prerogative. Um, and in some ways it's good, you know, I think it's good, you know, a beauty influencer of Kim's, you know, stature will actually come out and say the truth about some of these companies, you know. It's because so many beauty influencers are absolutely full of BS and we all know that. But she said, regardless of what may have happened, Nikki has worked extremely hard on these products and I'll be wearing the lippy for sure. Although, sorry, what she said was, although you guys are aware of my personal matters with this brand, please mark your calendars for Sunday to get in a Nikki Tutorials collab. So that's kind of the gist of it really. Um, what do you think actually actually happened? What do you think? I mean, I think she's acted on impulse, but she's now gonna stand by her word because she's put it out there to the internet. And I'm not commend her for that because one other thing that um, Kim Ty did is um, that I can't remember which one of the places that all the beauty people go to. Is it um, Gem Beauty or Beautycon? One of them, I don't remember which one, but she found out that when she, were doing, when she was there with her company, the people that were actually going there had to pay more to meet her. And she then said, there is, I'm not gonna be working with this, with this company anymore. I had no idea that my subscribers were having to pay more to meet her. And I really stood by her for that. I think that's great because she's, you know, she's shown her true colors. And to me, it's showing she's a good, you know, just a good person. Okay, so they're one of those places that they all go to in the UK. I don't blinking know. I don't know ones that have over in LA and America. Beautycon. She was no longer going to Beautycon because she realised her subscribers were getting charged more to meet her. And I thought in a way that was really, really good. I thought that was, you know, just shows to me that she's not, she's more bothered about doing the right thing than about the ka-ching, ka -ching, you know. But I know there's going to be some people going to be sort of dragging her a bit on this, but I don't think... I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I think the only thing is coming from another, if she wants to work with other brands, maybe they might think, oh, but did you see what she did to Ofra Cosmetics, you know? And I think maybe she might look back on this and she might think, do you know what? I've acted on impulse, but at least she's being honest. And I do wonder what they sent to her. I really, really do. But 
can you imagine? I mean, we've all, most people in their life have been sent a text message or an email that wasn't for them. Because what happens is when you're talking, when you're thinking about someone, you, and say it's what is a negative light, you're thinking about them, you're writing something down, typing it, and then you send it. You sometimes, because you're thinking about that person, you'll send it to that person. And I think that is what has happened there. So, I mean, I do really, really like Kim Tai. This isn't going to knock my opinion on her whatsoever. Um, it's really, really not, because I do like the girl. And as I said, I don't always watch her for her makeup stuff. I watch her for everything else. I watch for the mukbangs and just watching her, you know, go about her general life. And do you know what? Her and Trisha are the ones who made me want to do a mukbang, you know. I don't tend to eat as much as them, though. I don't. I really don't. Even though I want to, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but um you know so but I do really like Kim Tai so nobody should send anyone any hate or anything like that but because I know you guys watching me wouldn't do that anyway but I mean what do you all think about it what do you think as I said I'll be putting what I can up on the screen so you can see you know all the tweets about Ofra Cosmetics but what do you think Ofra said I mean I haven't really heard anything bad about Ofra Cosmetics I've heard the highlighters are really really good I just you know sometimes I just refuse to pay over the odds for something that's just got a beauty influencer's name on it that's just my opinion even if they're fantastic i'm stubborn and i'll be like i'm not buying it i'm not paying that <laughs> you know what i mean even though i've got the money i'll be like, there's no way i'm buying that i'm not buying that but anyway i hope you've all enjoyed the video sorry it's a little bit all over the place i've had major internet problems today so being able to even do a video and anything is you know is is, is blinking a miracle but um i'm trying to do these daily for you as you know and i'm mainly as i said going to be doing celebrity news this is just something i wanted to talk about because i'm going to talk about people who i have an interest in i'm not going to talk about people just you know if, that i you know just to jump on the bandwagon i would i'm going to talk about things which i'm interested in or people who i watch you know but obviously i'm not going to talk about i don't know say some guy who's a gamer who i've never heard about or whatever do you know what i mean there's some kind of you know drama going on but i wanted to talk about this because i was just so shocked to see kim ties tweets out i was so so shocked by it because it just seems so out of character but at least she still whatever at least she still sent the tweets out in a classy way um she must have been very very hurt as i said i think she may regret her decision a little bit but you live and you learn don't you so anyway i hope you've all enjoyed the video please subscribe if you're new and i hope you have a lovely day bye